another episode of Storytime here at the Utica Zoo. Today, I'd like to share with you one of our turtles that lives here at the zoo. This is Betty, and Betty is what's called an Eastern Box Turtle. Um, now, they get their name because they have this really awesome, really special shell that they have. Um, most turtles um, go inside their shell when they get really, really nervous. Um, when they get scared, they can kind of go right in there, and they have all this um, nice extra skin. Sometimes people think she's really old because she's got a lot of wrinkles, but that just kind of helps her to do what she does when she gets nervous. Though as you can see, our friend Betty here does not get nervous very often. Um, but she can actually close her shell up like a box. The bottom part of her shell that we sometimes call the plasteron can actually close and move. It almost has a little hinge on it right here where they can kind of close themselves up so for extra protection from predators that might come after them. Um, another thing that's really cool about box turtles, um, they actually can live a very long, long time. So they are a type of turtle that we can find around here. And some box turtles can live, believe it or not, to almost 100 years old. So they have a very long lifespan. Um, not, to, not only that, but box turtles, another really cool thing about them is they look a little bit different than most turtles. A lot of people, when we think of turtles, we think of them being animals that like to live in the water that are very aquatic. But our friend Betty here has a much taller, domier shell than most turtles do. But the thing that makes her a turtle and not a tortoise is actually the things that she likes to eat. Turtles love to eat both plants and meat, whereas tortoises only like to eat plants. So that's how we can kind of distinguish that she is, a, in fact, a turtle. Now, I'm going to put our friend Betty down for a moment so that we can start our story, which is, where should turtle be? Late one night, when you couldn't hear a sound, there came a cracking and a popping, something moving on the ground. Inch by inch, a turtle slowly broke away from its nest on the beach and headed for the bay. Guided by the lights, he knew they were the key to finding his new home, wherever that should be. But the lights weren't stars, and the lights weren't the moon. They were houses and cars, and he turned too soon. When Turtle stopped to rest by an old and crooked tree, he said, I think I'm lost. This isn't where I ought to be. Little Turtle cried, and with his little tiny voice, he said, I'm not where I should be. I am in the woods instead. A bear came out when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a box turtle, that's what you could be. You wouldn't have to swim. You could feast on fruit. You could crawl around the forest and sleep a lot to boot. Turtle tried it for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a box turtle, and he just couldn't do it. No thank you, said the turtle. It's, not, it's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And so he walked on. When Turtle stopped to rest by a cattail in the sun, he said, where am I now? Can you help me, anyone? Little Turtle cried, and with his tiny voice he said, I'm not where I should be. I am by this pond instead. A frog jumped down when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a painted turtle, that's what you could be. You could sun on logs, you could munch on bugs, you could stroll around the pond and slurp down slugs. Turtle tried it for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a painted turtle, and he just couldn't do it. No thank you, said the turtle, it's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And so he walked on. Turtle was unhappy, trudging through the salty marsh. The sun was hot, the mud was deep, this habitat was harsh. 
He pulled and yanked and flailed around in the icky, sticky, muddy ground. Turtle tried without much luck, but sat there stuck in gobs of muck. A beetle flew down when he tur heard the turtle's plea. He said, a diamondback terrapin, that's what you could be. You could crawl on the mud, you could crunch salty snails. You could also eat clams and... Wait, the turtle shouted. I won't try it for a day. I'm not a terrapin and I must get on my way. Then the turtle whispered, you know, it's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. Then Beetle tickled turtle shell. The turtle laughed so hard that pop, he flew out from the mud about a mile and a yard. Little turtle cried and with his tiny voice he said, I was looking for my home and ouch, my head is sore instead. A crab scurried down when he heard the turtle's plea. He pointed and he said, out there, that's where you ought to be. Out there, little turtle, it's well within your reach. Then turtle looked around and saw he had landed on the beach. Inch by inch, he headed out that way from the soft and sandy beach to the salty silver bay. Then turtle slid in and he shouted, this is me, cause I'm supposed to be a turtle in the sea. The end. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you'll tune in next Wednesday for another storybook reading with another one of our ambassador animals. See you soon.